Hello today's video we have the following content. Not good enough to play a handsome man. Audience, let's see what a real gentleman like Jade looks like. The male gods in ancient costumes were so handsome in the past. Their eyebrows were as sharp as swords, their eyes were shining, and they were as tall and straight as jade trees. Jiao Enjin, Wang Haibing, Rang Quan, Michael Mu, Zhen Shei Okyu, which one is not elegant and noble, like a gentleman walking out of the painting? Those actors in the past, although their faces were not as perfect as the current young actors, they looked upright and had a noble temperament, which was innate. It's really fun to play ancient costume roles. You can be a chickened and restrained young master, or a gentle and elegant nobleman. Not to mention the acting skills, the action scenes are also smooth and comfortable, so cool to watch. It seems that the current actors make the audience feel much worse than before, which is really regrettable. Watching their performance, I always feel a little uncomfortable. The ancient costume era with gods fighting and beauties like clouds is really dazzling. The ancient beauties at that time all had their own charms and charisma. 01 Xiao Huangfei's version of Yin's Hen. The Yin's Hen played by Xiao Huangfei in The Secret History of the Crown Prince really makes people love and hate him. It makes people like him and feel entangled. He is really a complex and charming character. He is so gentle that it makes people's heartbeat, and he is particularly cold when he is cruel. His love story with Zhuang makes many people feel sorry until now. Although Xiao Huangfei is only in his 20s, his demeanor and charm when he plays the young Yang's Hen are simply amazing. Although Xiao Huangfei looks ordinary, he has a unique temperament and can always fit the role perfectly, as if he was born for the role. The Yang's Hen he played was decisive and imposing, and the audience could feel the majesty at a glance. Such acting skills will never make people doubt whether his image fits the role, and it is absolutely convincing. Zhao Hongfei has a unique face shape, which is very different from the face shapes of current actors. His jawline is particularly prominent, which makes him look very elegant and noble. In addition, he is tall and straight, just like a walking clothes rack. His eyes are sharp and bright, and he can show the emotions of the character in a blink of an eye. He has a majestic kingly style of Yuang's hen. It is quite disappointing that Zhao Hongfei did not play the fourth master and startling by each step. 02 Bridget Lin's version of Dong Fang Bubei. In Swordsman, Bridget Lin's cross-dressing Dong Fang Bubei is the white moonlight in everyone's heart. In this classic drama, she played Dong Fang Bubei with a very strong aura. Many people think that Li Yapping's Dong Fang Bubei is closer to the original work, and it is not appropriate to use a female actress to play this role. Bridget Lin's unique temperament allows her to perfectly interpret the domineering style of Dong Fang Bubei. The momentum of looking down on the heroes is vividly interpreted by her, neither coquettish nor vulgar. Bridget Lin's outfit is also a highlight, especially the pointed hat she wears, which shows her heroic spirit. She is so beautiful and cool. 03 Louis Ku's version of Yang Guo. What does Yang Guo look like? He must be a handsome guy. Imagine that he may have handsome features, and his eyes are full of determination and intelligence. His figure should also be great. After all, he is a martial arts master, agile, and his figure should also be strong and vigorous. In short, Yang Guo is the type that is very attractive at first glance, and he must be a handsome guy who is impressive. Wu Yang Feng praised Yang Guo for his thin and handsome appearance. When Guo Xiyuang saw him, she was also stunned and exclaimed, I will never forget Yang Guo in my life after seeing him. These two people have seen countless people, but this time they couldn't help but exclaim again and again. You can imagine how amazing Yang Guo's appearance is. We know that Yang Guo is handsome and has a slim figure. In this way, Yang Guo's image is very three-dimensional. Louis Ku is so handsome, his bone structure and skin are first-rate. His eyes are especially beautiful, with a perfect shape and narrow eyelids, like a thin line. He is simply the best among handsome guys. His eyes are slender, with slightly upturned tails. Whenever he stares at Li Ruotong, his affectionate eyes are so heart-moving that it is effortless to fall in love with him. Li Ruotong's little dragon girl is like a fairy from a book, beautiful and cold. She was originally a pure and innocent disciple of the tomb sect, but in the end, for Yang Guo, she was willing to step into this mortal world. The scene of little dragon girl and Yang Guo looking at each other affectionately is so impressive and classic. Every time I see their affectionate eyes, I am moved. 04 Gao Anshin's version of Li's Unhuan. Little Li Flying Dagger is definitely the most popular adaptation of Gu Long's novels, and everyone loves to watch it. Gao Anshin's Li's Unhuan is really the best of the classics. He perfectly interprets Li's Unhuan's image of being both cool and affectionate, 
allowing the audience to fully feel Lee Sun-Hoon's unique charm. Gulong didn't write much about what Lee Sun-Hoon looked like, but he mentioned that his eyes were quite distinctive, looking young and energetic. Jiao Anshin's eyes are really dramatic, and he looks tender at first glance. Even though Yu Fi Hong and Jia Jingwen are both top beauties in the play, Jiao Anshin's appearance is definitely not left behind, and he can still withstand the camera. In fact, it may be a bit one-sided to say that Jiao Anshin's charm is the filter of the times. If you think about it carefully, we already know how charming he is, and there is no need to say more. 051 Rihua's version of Gi Feng. This version of the role selection has some minor flaws, but Wang Rihua's Gi Feng is definitely the highlight. He played Gi Feng's chivalrous style and sense of justice very vividly, which is really on point. Many people like to compare Hu Jun's Gi Feng with Wang Rihua's version. To be honest, Hu Jun's Gi Feng is quite impressive, but he lacks something, that is, the domineering aura of being the only one who is superior to others. Compared with the Wang Rihua version, this is indeed a little bit worse. However, everyone has his own characteristics, which is also the charm of film and television. Wang Rihua's Gi Feng is really amazing. He thinks he is super good at fighting, and then he waves his right hand and says domineeringly, I am in a good mood today, so I will spare your life and not kill you. This is not to scare him, I am telling the truth. That Gi Feng is the real king, invincible in the world, even the six ways are in awe of him. It is not an exaggeration to say that he is the long A ocean in the novel, and no one can defeat him. Wang Rihua's experience is quite similar to Kiao Feng. He was born in poverty and his family conditions were not good. His father loves to play and always likes to have fun everywhere, and his mother left early. Wang Rihua's childhood was really rough and full of shadows. He lacked love and companionship since he was a child, but when he grew up, he paid special attention to friendship. His wife got cancer after cheating on him, and he stayed by her side. Unfortunately, his wife didn't make it and passed away early. After learning the sad news, his good friend Andy Law immediately called to comfort him, telling him not to be too sad and to accept the reality. Andy Law encouraged him to look forward, hoping that he could get over the pain as soon as possible and cheer up again. 06 Lu Xuming's Guan Yu Last year, Lu Xuming's departure really seemed to have lost another Guan Gong. His departure made people feel like Guan Gong had left us again. The obituary of Lu Xuming's Guan Yu image on social media was really heartbreaking. His Guan Yu was so lifelike that when the drama was broadcast, everyone said, this is just like Guan Yan Chang. The whole city was talking about it, and it was unforgettable. Lu Xuming, a Shandong man, is 1.86 meters tall and looks majestic. As soon as he appeared, Wang Fulin, the chief director of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, was amazed, isn't this the General Guan in our hearts? Wow, the candidate for General Guan has been found. The image of Guan Yu is always majestic in people's minds, and Lu Xuming's interpretation of Guan Yu is even more vivid, deeply imprinted in everyone's mind, and unforgettable. 07 Zheng Shaokyu's version of Kian Long The drama The Story of Kian Long became a hit after its first broadcast in Taiwan, and was later selected into the textbook of the development of Chinese TV dramas and became a classic. This is the most precious memory in the hearts of our generation. Speaking of which couple in the 1990s is the most unforgettable, it is definitely Zhang Shaoqiu and Zhao Yazi, the golden boy and jade girl. The love story between the two is quite interesting. At that time, Zhang Shaoqiu already had a family, but he and Zhao Yazi still had a very subtle relationship. This makes people feel very interesting. They always say they are just friends, but to be honest, are they really just that kind of simple friends? I have some doubts. The rough look of the flower boy in ancient costume. 01 Wang Dalu the Wolf. When the audience saw Wang Dalu's big mouth showing 10 big white teeth, they were simply stunned. The picture was so shocking that people couldn't help but cover their eyes. Wang Dalu's look in this drama is really shocking, especially compared with the two handsome men and beautiful women Xiao Zan and Xiao Lucy, he is just like a savage in the mountains. This drama is really going to shock the audience to outer space. This picture really reminds me of Zhu Beiji in Journey to the West. It's just like the second brother himself. At first glance, it's like traveling back to that magical world. 02 Zhang Han The Legend of Red Shadow in the Classic of Mountains and Seas. Everyone says if you don't have good looks, make up for it with makeup, but Zhang Han's smoky makeup is too shocking. It really makes people want to shout help. Zhang Han's acting skills don't seem to have improved much. The character he plays in this drama is obviously a graceful prince, but he turned out to be a greasy uncle. It's really disappointing. 
Are you playing this trick of wanting to refuse but also wanting to welcome me? This bloody line, could it be that Zhang Han added it himself? This is too much of his style. 03 Jin Han Jun Jiling. People usually accept beautiful vase beauties, but if a fat and ugly character appears in an ancient puppet drama, it would be unbearable. Jin Han's appearance is tough and masculine, and he is perfect for playing the domineering president in modern dramas. But when he changes to a costume drama, all his shortcomings are exposed. Everyone says that he has a bad posture and always hunches his back. How can he play a costume drama like this? It makes people uncomfortable. In this drama, Jin Han's hairstyle and makeup are really a bit confusing. His hair is combed too tightly, and his whole face is deformed, which is really embarrassing. 04 Yuzai Torn Long Shi Yong Shao. Yuzai Torn's appearance is not good enough, and his acting skills are also average. The Yuan Fi Bei he played is obviously a super handsome guy, but the result is not ideal. Yuzai Torn has narrow eyes, which may not be suitable for costume dramas. Moreover, his acting skills need to be improved. I hope he can practice more and better show the role. Rang Quan and Gio Engine styles are really unique. Come and appreciate them together and let everyone wash your eyes. 01 Rang Quan Scholar Style and Gentleman's Outfit. Rang Quan plays a scholar, elegant and stylish. In this photo, Rang Quan wears a scholar's outfit with maple leaf patterns in Young Justice Bao. He is really gentle and elegant, and looks so charming. It's really heartwarming. On the white clothes, the lake blue piping is exquisite and delicate, and it is also dotted with fresh blue maple leaf patterns, which is simple and elegant. A closer look shows that there are dark patterns on this clothes, which makes it look more high-end and makes him look more like a gentle scholar. Rang Quan is dressed like a nobleman, so elegant. Hey, look at that handsome guy on the road, he is so handsome, unparalleled in the world. This gentleman is wearing clothes with bamboo leaf patterns, so elegant. White clothes is the base, black belt around the waist, and dotted with ink bamboo, it is so elegant and noble, it makes people feel comfortable. 02 Gio Engine Gauze Clothes Style, Cape Style. Gio Engine's gauze dress is really amazing, it looks elegant and handsome. He wears gauze clothes, as if he is the elegant knight in ancient times, giving people a sense of transcendence. The light texture of the gauze clothes sets off his figure more slender and upright, just like a walking clothes rack. Gio Engine's gauze clothes not only show his high appearance, but also highlight his temperament and demeanor, which is really unforgettable. Gio Engine's Li Zunhuan is dressed like a literati reciting poems and painting. This feeling of literary and martial really shows his literary elegance and highlights his martial arts neatness. It's really handsome and profound. Gio Engine's cloak look is so cool. With a cloak, he looks mysterious and handsome, just like a knight who traveled from ancient times. This outfit not only shows his personality, but also makes people's eyes bright. It's really unforgettable. Gio Engine's cloak is really the finishing touch of the whole play. Wearing it immediately adds a chivalrous spirit. Throughout the whole play, it has become Gio Engine's symbol. Lee's and Huan and Afei sat in the pavilion. The two drank and chatted. With one sword, peach blossoms fell one after another. This picture is so beautiful, just like a painting. Lee's and Huan's swordsmanship is really amazing. With one sword, peach blossoms fell like they were cast by magic. I hope that today's actors can hone their acting skills, interpret the character's demeanor in place, and make the makeup beautiful. If you have an ordinary look, don't try to force yourself to act a handsome guy. Spend more time on your face and don't let the audience suffer. Next news. Zhang Ziyi's new relationship exposed, ushering in the second spring of love. Netizens left messages one after another, another good marriage in the world. Hey, have you heard? The world-famous international Zhang Zhang Ziyi is actually with the artist Limo. This is no joke. Their relationship quickly set off a wave of craze in the entertainment industry. Zhang Ziyi is a star in the film and television industry, and Limo is a talented person in the art world. The combination of these two people makes people curious. What kind of sparks will their love collide with? Come and take a look. Chapter 1, The Dazzling Film Industry, The Growth Trajectory of the Queen of the Film Industry. Everyone knows Zhang Ziyi, right? This big shot is a superstar in the film industry. The Yu Jia along she played in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon is so good. Then De Gonger in The Grandmaster, she played it to the core, and the audience said it was good. Her acting skills are really amazing, and people admire her. Zhang Ziyi is not the kind of vase that relies on her face to make a living. She is a real acting school. 
She has put a lot of effort to play the role well. I heard that she even learned martial arts and dance for half a year for a role. This kind of fighting spirit is really admirable. Chapter 2, The Secret Life of an Artistic Genius Compared with big stars like Zhang Ziyi, Limo is very low-key. However, although this guy is not famous, his paintings are really good. His works are very creative and imaginative. Each painting is like an independent little world, and people want to dive in and explore it. Limo's works are really amazing. Not only are they widely praised in China, but they have also won many awards at international exhibitions. His painting style is really unique, and the color matching is just right. Every time you see it, you feel very comfortable. Although he is an artist, he has a very easygoing personality. It feels very cordial to get along with him. Chapter 3, Romantic Encounter, The Beautiful Journey of Cross-Border Love In this magical chapter, we usher in a romantic encounter of cross-border love. This is a wonderful encounter across boundaries, which makes two hearts that were originally out of reach closely connected under the guidance of fate. They come from different worlds, have different experiences and backgrounds, but they are attracted to each other because of some mysterious power. Perhaps it is the curiosity about the unknown world, or the persistent pursuit of true love that makes them meet and know each other in the vast sea of people. In this cross-border love, they understand, appreciate and respect each other. They explore each other's world together and share each other's happiness and sadness. Their love is like a beautiful symphony, playing a moving melody on the cross-border stage. This romantic encounter not only makes them harvest love, but also makes them learn to grow and tolerate. They learned how to cross boundaries to understand and accept different cultures and values. They understand that true love is not about finding someone who is exactly the same as themselves, but about finding resonance and complementarity in each other's differences. The romantic encounter of cross-border love makes their lives more colorful. Their love story will also become a good story that will be passed down through the ages, inspiring more people to bravely pursue true love, cross boundaries, and create their own beautiful future. Zhang Ziyi and Limo, how did these two get together? I heard that they met at an art exhibition. At that time, Zhang Ziyi was fascinated by a painting by Limo, and Limo also gave a thumbs up to Zhang Ziyi's elegant and charming appearance. From then on, the two often chatted and got closer and closer. Once their relationship was exposed, it really caused a sensation. Some people think they are simply a perfect match, while others think that they are too different and unlikely to last long. However, no matter what the outside world says, the two of them are in love, so sweet that people envy them. Chapter 4, The Ups and Downs on the Road of Love and Persistence The road of love has never been easy. There are all kinds of challenges along the way, but as long as you persist, you will always see hope. Sometimes, two people will have conflicts or even quarrels for various reasons. At that time, I really thought that love was so difficult. But every time I calm down and think about it, it is actually because I care too much about each other. Sometimes, the pressure of life and the busyness of work will make love a little heavy. Sometimes I really want to give up, but when I think of the good of the other person, I have the courage to persist. Love is like this, sometimes sweet, sometimes bitter. But as long as we truly love each other, understand and tolerate each other, we will be able to overcome these difficulties and move towards a better future. So, the challenges on the road of love are not terrible. As long as we persist, we will be able to overcome them. After all, true love needs to go through wind and rain before the rainbow can be seen. Cross-border love is indeed not easy. As a public figure, Zhang Ziyi's every move is highly watched by the media and fans. Li Mo prefers to maintain his creative freedom and independence. This difference makes the relationship between the two more complicated and subtle. However, they did not give up because of this. On the contrary, they cherish this relationship more and work harder to maintain this relationship. Zhang Ziyi will take time out of work to accompany Limo, watch his paintings together, and talk about art and life together. And Limo will also draw some special paintings for Zhang Ziyi to express his love for her. Their love journey has experienced ups and downs, but it is the tenacity and courage that makes the light of true love shine. Their story tells us, with love in your heart, you can overcome all difficulties. Chapter 5, What is the Magic of Love and Art? Love and art, these two things seem different but are actually closely connected, and they always bring us endless surprises and touches. Love allows us to experience the sweetest part of life, but also makes us endure the most painful torment. Art, through various forms, transforms our emotions, thoughts and experiences into visible, audible and tangible works, allowing us to gain inspiration and insights from them. 
The true meaning of love is not how perfect a person you find, but how you tolerate each other and grow together in imperfection. True love requires dedication, understanding, trust, and the determination and courage to give everything for each other. The charm of art lies in its ability to show our inner world in a unique way, allowing us to see the beauty and touch that are usually difficult to perceive. Whether it is painting, music or literature, art can touch the depths of our hearts and sublimate and purify us in the process of appreciation. Love and art are both ways of expressing human emotions and important ways for us to explore the meaning of life. In love, we learn how to love and how to be loved, in art, we find ways to express ourselves and understand the world. So, let us cherish the love around us, appreciate the art in life, and feel the unique beauty and touch they bring us. The love between Zhang Ziyi and Li Mo tells us that love is not just romance and sweetness, it also requires courage, wisdom and persistence. Seeing them, we are more convinced that as long as there is love, we can make each other better. Their love shows the true meaning of love and inspires people. Their love story shows the magical power of art. Art has a unique charm that can break all kinds of boundaries and bring people from different worlds together. It not only allows us to appreciate the shock of beauty, but also allows us to constantly transform on the road of pursuing beauty and move towards a higher realm. Let's summarize it. The love journey of Zhang Ziyi and Li Mo is a journey of persistence through wind and rain. They used practical actions to show the power of true love and prove the beauty of love. Their story tells us that true love is not divided into fields and is not bound. As long as there is love in the heart, all difficulties can be overcome. At the same time, they also make us understand more about respecting each other's differences in personalities. Here, we send our most sincere blessings to their love, and wish their feelings to be long-lasting and stable, and continue to bring us more touching and surprises. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,